more benchmarks are coming out to compare the new CPUs from Intel and AMD. But this video will be about which one is the best option for you as a consumer. Because even if Intel wins in some cases and AMD in some others, the answer comes down to your needs, your goal and your budget. To be completely honest, both AMD and Intel did a great job and both are really similar in terms of performance. But that doesn't mean that they are 100% tied for you. Stay until the end of the video to find out which brand and CPU will be the best for you, whether you want to do gaming, streaming, content creation or all of them. You will have all the links to these CPUs that I recommend buying down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. First, we have to take a look at your specific needs. You need to ask yourself which games you're going to play and which programs you're going to use. If you're going to do just gaming slash streaming, then the i7-13700K and the Ryzen 7-7700X should be your limit. Being realistic, you won't see any performance increase with anything higher than that, and we could even argue that the i5-13600K and the Ryzen 5-7600X are both more than enough as well, but if for some reason you want to go with the latest RTX 4090, then it makes sense to go with a higher end processor. On the other hand, if you are a professional content creation with heavy 4K or 8K footage, then I would consider the higher end options such as the i9-13900K and the Ryzen 9 7950X or 7900X. But anyway, I would highly consider Intel for this type of usage since it's proven to be better than its competitor in different video editing programs such as Adobe. Adobe Premiere. However, before buying any CPU, I would search the benchmarks for your favorite program or your favorite video game so you can exactly see the performance difference between these CPUs. But remember that this is for specific professional cases and even for content creation, CPUs like the i7 and the Ryzen 7 7700X will be more than enough for most people. Now that you know which CPUs to consider for different type of use, which company is actually better for you? Well, the answer, it depends. Before making any decision, you need to know the price between these CPUs, but most importantly, the platform cost. Because surely the price between these processors aren't huge. For example, the i5 13600K, it's only around $30 more expensive than the Ryzen 5 7600X by the time that I'm recording this video. But considering that if you get the Ryzen 5 you need to get a new motherboard and RAM sticks if you don't have already DDR5, Ryzen will be the more expensive option. Buying the Ryzen 5 7600X and a motherboard like the Gigabyte Aorus Elite B650 ATX motherboard and then 16 gigs of RAM of DDR5 at 5600MHz will cost you $627. While buying the i5 13600K, a 3690 DDR4 motherboard with 16 gigs of RAM at 3200MHz will cost you $570, bucks, around $60 less if you don't already have a motherboard that supports a new gen CPUs or DDR4 memory already installed in your PC. If you have one of those components or two, then the price will be much, much cheaper since you won't have the need to buy a brand new component. With that being said, it comes down to the price and upgradeability. If you want the most upgradable option, then go with Ryzen since they said that they will continue the AM5 chipset to at least 2025. But if you want the best price to performance, I would pick Intel. Remember, both AMD and Intel are extremely close in terms of gaming performance. So if you want a gaming PC, I will go with Intel as well and put the money left on a more powerful GPU since that will give you the real performance difference in most games. However, once again, before buying AMD or Intel, I do recommend you searching the benchmarks between the Ryzen 5 7600X, let's say, and the i5 13600K in different games, because maybe in your favorite game, AMD makes more sense, but it's going to be more expensive. So my recommendation is go with Intel and with the money left that you have, put it on a better GPU. To finish, my conclusion is that both brands are doing an amazing job and the performance difference between the two is really close until you are a professional content creator. On that case, I would highly suggest going with Intel, but for other usage, it's going to be really close and it's going to come down to you. But before leaving, the CPU is not the only component that's important on your gaming PC and I don't want you to overspend your money. For that reason, I recommend you watching my video about the best budget DDR5 i5 13600K gaming PC build that you will have in the top right of the screen. Remember though that DDR4 is going to be cheaper and to be honest, the performance difference is not going to be huge, so going with DDR4 makes much more sense 
balance and upgrading the GPU. But on that video, you also have DDR4 options, so I highly recommend you watching it. And leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. But not only this type of content, I also upload deals to my posts. So if you want to see the best private PC and PC build components deals, I highly recommend you hitting that bell button. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.